Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Rianne Edwards, a young adult, new adult, fantasy romance author and today I'm going to be talking about the Publish and Thrive course by Sarah Cannon. It is a self-publishing course and it is open this week so I thought I would do a video on what it is and how it's helped me and how it might help you so you can decide if it's something that you want to do. is an indie author within the community and she has published I can't remember how many books now maybe over 25 but she's been working in this industry for a long time now and she has a self-publishing course called the Publish and Thrive course. Now I took Publish and Thrive um, a couple of years ago now and I thought I would um, talk to you all about it. I know I have done a video before but I want to do another video on how it's helped me since then because I feel like this past year so 2022 was when I really started utilizing all that I had learned from that course and I am still learning from that course now she's only running it once this year and um, that's coming up in February so the enrollment opens the 21st of January it'll be open for two weeks and then she'll be closing the doors and she'll be doing a live video to welcome everybody in and start delivering the course from the 4th of February I think now Sarah always does a live at the beginning so that we can um sort of all get together know what's going on things like that and it's a real good boost of like motivation and inspiration and then each module will unlock each week for us to watch the videos and then there is a live Q&A at the end of that module so every week and it runs for six weeks. Now the good thing about this course is that you can take it at your own time so there's no reason why you have to do it all in the six weeks that it runs and the Q&A's run for you can just drop in for the Q&A sessions and sort of see what people are asking. I know that I followed it through last time but she's actually updating the course as we speak actually so it will be an interesting look, it will be new for us as well so all alumni will get access to the course at the same time as new people joining do as well. So I'm going to go through what's currently in the course because I know Sarah is updating and making everything just a lot better because she's learned a lot over the past couple of years as well and a lot of the questions that get asked she's going to be incorporating them into the new videos and also she's splitting up the marketing module. I think it's the marketing module because it's the biggest module so I think that one's being split up into two because when I did it it was a five week course and now it's going to be a six week course which I think is good because it was a lot to get through that week. The one thing I will say is that I think this course has given me the biggest foundation, the strongest foundation in which to grow from and I'll talk about this a little bit in a bit but one of the things that I cannot stress enough is that I have found her Facebook groups for Publish and Thrive just to be so informative and welcoming and safe it just feels safe to be able to ask questions and things like that there's some questions that people ask and we feel a bit nervous because we don't want to be perceived in the wrong way or think that we're being stupid but it is just such a safe place to to be and to learn and to grow so as well as the course you're getting that and it's just a fab group in fact some of the best friends that I've made online are from that group um just a little side note so i want to take you back before we start i'm holding my folder by the way i want to take you back a little bit and give you a bit of a background story just so you can understand what position i was in when i took the course to see if you are maybe in the same place so i had published probably badly um my first 
two books, I think. Yes, I think maybe three actually. So the first, the, the my a four duology, which has now been taken down, but I published that, and then I think I had one book out of the Soulbound series, the original series, not this new edition stuff. Um, and I think I was about to release the second book, and I was pregnant with my daughter at the same time. So that's where I was. I was on maternity leave. I didn't really know where I was going, what I was doing in life, what what I was even doing with publishing. And I just needed, I needed some support, I needed some help. And I've been following Sarah Cannon on her Heart Breathings channel for a long time. And then when this course came up and I sort of looked into it and I thought, yeah, actually, I think I might need this. So I started this course, followed it all through, realised that I had even less of an idea of what I thought I did about publishing um, and since then I have been working towards making this my business and my career. So if you just want to publish books um, every now and then as a hobby this course is probably not for you. If you want to turn this into your career and for it to be a business then this course is definitely the course for you. But let's get started on the course. Now obviously there's going to be a completely new workbook as well within the new course but this is the workbook that I printed out into all the different like modules and extras and stuff like that. So module one was always about gearing up for success. Now you might think, oh, I don't need this, but it covers, and I'll let you know, so it covers things like your publishing strategy, the um, your importance of like genre and establishing yourself in certain genres, um, about writing and editing and cover art. You may think you don't know that, but there is some really good information in that. And as I said, I had already released a few books and this information was really good and stuff that I didn't actually knew and didn't even, I didn't even know that I needed to know it, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, so about book and series title, descriptions, um, mailing lists, author websites, social media for authors, where you can publish and all that kind of stuff. It's a bit of um, like a background starting information. So that is module one. There is a lot of information crammed in there. And again, I would definitely go through it even if you've got a series or a few books under your belt because I guarantee there's probably going to be stuff that you didn't know. Or at least there was for me. <laughs> um, so module two is all about the actual publishing. So the physical act of publishing your book onto um, platforms and things like that. So we've got things like um, who your ideal reader is, an overview of that metadata for each book, categories, keywords, um, book and series titles for putting online, your taglines and blurbs, your ISBNs and other numbers, things like that. Then we go through an overview of Kindle Unlimited, Amazon's KDP, but also things like Apple Books, Barnes & Noble, Google Books, Kobo Books, using third party things like draft to digital and then publishing your book in print and publishing it in audio and then formatting your book. So there's a lot of information in the physical publishing module. But then we move on to module three, which is your writing business. I think this was the biggest module for me that I was like mind blown because I, I just, I don't think I honestly realised what being a self-published author would actually entail and how I wanted to treat it. So now I am treating it as a business which completely shifts your mindset. So things in this module included things like structuring your author business, your taxes and bank accounts, your business budget, tracking your sales, calculating series sell through and return on investment, using a pen name, copyright, your author business plan and cultivating an entrepreneur's mindset. That sounds amazing, doesn't it? And I cannot wait to see this updated information, which you'll all see at the same time if you take this course, because as I said, this is just, this is such a key part of switching from it being a hobby to being an actual business. 
So obviously the stuff like the taxes and bank accounts, that's sort of US based. And she does give some links to help you out. But if you're from the UK and you have been on our government website, it's, a, I think it's a minefield and I don't understand any of it. But I have done a lot of research and a lot of work into that. So I will do a video showing how I've changed from it being a hobby to a writing career and a business mindset. So that was an amazing module and it gave me the inspiration and the motivation to actually to actually make that change not just in my head but also in my action plan so module four was the marketing module and it was massive um, I'll go through what sort of things she included in this marketing module. Now she does make clear that she is not a marketing expert, but what she does is give, um, I talk about this word foundation and overview, and that's what this is. She goes into all the different types of advertising that you can do, um, how it works and also um, what advertising might work well for what sort of books you're writing. So. So for instance, she goes through things like tactics versus strategies, the four step indie marketing framework, pricing your book, advertising price promotion, sort of promotion and deal sites, pay per click advertising, your ideal reader avatar worksheet to help you understand who to advertise to, sort of finding your comp books and authors, turning readers into loyal fans, you launch strategies for your books using pre-orders, building your author platform, marketing for slower authors, and then marketing standalones and non-fiction as well, types of cross promotion that you can do, box sets as a tool, running giveaways, creating marketing images, author pages to set up, and relaunching a series as well. So as you can see, there's a lot of information in there. If you want to know specifically how to do Facebook ads or how to do Amazon ads, then you'll need to find a separate course for that. But if you're like me, you probably didn't even know half of this stuff existed or you could do. And that's what I like about this course. It gives me that idea. And I've been utilizing this for the past couple of years, slowly building it up. Um, and hopefully this year I want to take a couple of specific courses for Facebook and Amazon ads but that's in the pipeline um, but right now I have a good idea of where to go and where to start and understanding how my books can be marketed and that's really really important I mean even just listening to the sort of lessons that are in that module you can see that there is actually a lot covered <laughs> So the last module is creating success that lasts and this is all about your mindset and some people might think I don't need that I've got everything I need but actually it's really good for sort of narrowing your focus after getting all that information it can be overwhelming and this sort of just helps to bring all that together. So in module five we have things like managing your time and energy, organising your data, goal setting, what to do when you feel discouraged and how to handle criticism, being a professional on everywhere <laughs> and then how to stop comparison-itis, I think we all have that regardless, and her top tips for thriving long term. There's a reason why this course is called Publish and Thrive and this last module really is the focus of that thriving part about how to actually utilize all of this information and thrive with it and actually drive ourselves forward and get to where we want to be. On Instagram I asked if anyone had any questions about this course and I did get a few questions. I know some of them got answered 
as I was talking about the course itself. There were really good questions. There were questions about, I've written them down over there. There were questions about, um, you know, is it preferable to set up as a business um, when you're a self-published author? I think I've already answered that. Yes, it is. And there's loads of information in that course. And if you're from the UK, I'll be delivering some information to my channel about that as well. So it's definitely worth setting up as a business but there are caveats to that and I've said several times throughout and I and I myself had few books under my belt but a lot of authors take this when they have a few books under their belts and they I don't think I've met anyone in the group who thought that it was useless information um I mean great if you haven't published this is fantastic because you can get all this information before you start publishing um and part of me wishes I had done that I also did get a question if she's watching um who my favorite operations manager might be for um Sarah Cannon and yes Renee you are my favorite operations manager <laughs> love Renee she's someone that I met in the group and we've talked a lot online and then she got this job yes Renee you are amazing <laughs> So I'll put the information down below about when enrolment opens and what to expect in terms of the weeks. And also if you do decide this is something that you would like to do, then I'll leave my affiliate link down below. It doesn't cost you any extra, but it does help me out. Um, and I would love to just get more people on board on this amazing course. If you do have any more questions, please add them into the comments below and I will answer what I can. Um, but yeah, that I think that's it from me to today. I've really enjoyed talking about the course. I am excited too because it's being revamped and updated and I can't wait to see all the new information. So yeah, I'm excited as well. So hopefully I'll see you there, but if not, I will see you next time. Bye guys. Bye.